Hello everybody, this is Joseph and welcome to another QML tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be covering uh, the last of our layouts here, uh, which is grid. We're not going to have time to do flow. Um, if you would like flow, uh, shoot a line underneath or uh, hit me up on uh, my email. Uh, but for right now I'm not going to do flow. So let's do grid. Um, oops. We can press Control N for a new file. Choose a quick UI, and we're going to choose, uh, and now we'll call this one Grids. What's next? Make sure there's no version control select, or if you want version control, keep it. So let's take this text out of here. Let's copy this rectangle. something called a repeater. So a repeater. And we're going to say model. And we're going to, okay, so the model part is for right now, all we need to concern with this is as uh, a number, okay, or an integer. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put 12 in for right now, okay? So we have this repeater that repeats this right here, okay? And we'll set the color to be blue. Okay, so let's save and run this and see what it looks like. So obviously we have 12 rectangles stacked up on top of each other right there. So we need a grid, right? So let's type in grid. And we're gonna wrap it around our repeater. Okay, and in our grid, we're gonna put spacing at say, I don't know, 20. We'll put in columns, whoops, we'll say, well if there's 12 of them, we'll say four. Four columns and three rows. Now let's run this. We can go, there we go, we have a, a little thing with dots and well, three looks like uh, it should be on the other way, so we can change that. Rows to be three and uh, four for the column. There we go, that's better. And we would have to take down the thing and center it into the back and do a whole bunch of things. But that is the gist of grid and the gist of, uh, of repeater uh, for right now. And the next uh, again, I can't get to flow. Um, if you guys want to learn about flow, it's really simple to learn on your own. It's basically used a lot for text. Um, but uh, this is grid, and uh, you can set the flow within the grid too also. Um, so it doesn't have to be just that. And, uh, anyways, I am Joseph. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, in the next up and coming tutorials, we're going to be dealing with models. And um, we're going to be learning about how to use them. Uh, again, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a good day. Bye.